How pretty you look. How pretty. Oh, actually, the handle's close. is pretty. Wow. P push. Part. Cart. Oh, that's not P. <laughs> Streaming gear is what every audio company is churning out these days. Whether it's crafting out fresh products like Sennheiser's USB profile streaming microphone or revamping an existing product like what Audio Technica has done with the ATH M50X STS by slapping a mic onto an M50X that we'll be taking out for a spin today. By now, a lot of you should know about Audio Technica's M50X headphones. They're one of the most widely used pair of cans throughout a ton of industries and trades from music production, podcasts, live audio mixing at shows and streaming. I've been playing around with this for a while to edit this video and other videos, but more importantly, having a great time with Proximity Chat in Battlebit using this mic. <laughs> we'll get into my thoughts later on. Before you even get the box for the ATH M50X STS stream set, you're faced with a choice between the USB-A with USB-C adapter or one with XLR with a quarter inch adapter version. Digital and analog versions basically. We have the USB version, so the box has an extra pair of nylon pads with the leather ones on the headphones, a USB-C adapter and the headphones. And from this point of video, I'll be swapping over from the Rode Wireless Go To mics that we usually use to the ATH M50X STS. So with the headphones on, I have to say, you know, they sound great and nothing much has changed audio-wise from the original M50X. And as for the ear pads, you can choose between the classic nylon, which I'm using right now, or the new leather pads, which are here. I grew up with Audio Technica headphones and the nylon pads have always served me well with the occasional replacement every now and then because they flaked and peeled quite a bit, but I was a sweaty nine-year-old. So the verdict on this new leather pads, they are super comfortable. Let's talk about why there are two versions. I'm pretty sure the reason for splitting them between USB and XLR has more to do with USB having the software for the headphones and microphone, while the XLR version is analog. That would sort of justify the stock price differences. But besides that, I'm of the opinion that Auto Technica really should have just released it all as a set so you can swap out the cables as and when it's required. And that's pretty much the opinion of many people out there. So maybe Auto Technica can do something about that in the next iteration of the stream sets. Besides that, moving on to the rest of the headphones, the headband is a pretty comfy padded leather. You can adjust the length of the cans to better fit our noggin. The microphone only becomes active when you swing it down all the way. One thing to note, if you want to mute the microphone for a moment, just take note that when you're sliding it up, the microphone will pick up that action. So hear this. And now the audio is coming from the Nikon Z62 that we have over there. And now I'm bringing it back down. And now we're back to the Audio Technical M50X STS. And lastly, there is a rocker slash button on the left side of the headphones to control monitoring slash side tone. You can adjust the volume with the rocker and press it in to turn monitoring or side tone on and off. The cardioid condenser microphone is the main thing I'm concerned with in this whole setup Audio Technica has going on. I have to say it's pretty sturdy with this bendy bit being metal. And it feels premium. How does it sound? Honestly? I mean, you can hear it for yourself. It sounds pretty damn solid. The R model after the 20 series anyway. It's pretty well balanced. The only thing is that it doesn't filter out background noise as much, unfortunately. But then again, that's also a good thing. The downside obviously being you'll have unwanted noise. The upside being you'll pick up anything meme or content worthy while still sounding decent if you really think about it. It's one thing to not have a way to filter out noise. And it's a whole other thing to filter out noise but sound like shit. So I'm still picking the former. No competition. Clarity is what you want. So even if this thing doesn't do the job of, you know, filter out noise and everything in the background, it still makes you sound damn good. And that's what I want. Also, this is how it sounds like as I turn the mic. So now the mic is facing me and I'm turning it this way. And now I'm behind the microphone. And here it is down here like that. And now we're back to the front of the microphone and I'm going to be putting the microphone on. So this is what your audience will hear when you're putting your headphones back on and your microphone is still turned on. So now we're going to be doing a couple more real world tasks to give you a better idea. Before we get into that though, this channel is supported by brands who help us improve our content and keep us going. So stay around for this sponsored message. Meet the Cyborg 15 gaming laptop from MSI. Check out its translucent material design that not only looks good but feels good thanks to its ultra lightweight chassis at only 1.98 kilograms. Give yourself the upper edge in gaming with its blazing fast performance powered by the latest 12th gen Intel Core i7H series processor and NVIDIA RTX 4000 series GPUs. 
and stay immersed with its Nahibic twin speaker sound system that provides an auditory feast like no other. For more details, check out MSI.com. So this is how the mic will sound like when you are in a gaming type situation. So this is basically how it sounds like when you're talking over and playing games at the same time. This is how you will sound like over Discord to your friends, colleagues and channel members when you're using the Audio Technica M50X STS USB headphones. So this is how you sound like on the other end of a Google Meets call to your friends and colleagues. The reason why we're doing these tests on Discord and Google Meets is because, you know, different apps have different audio requirements and audio settings. So you have an even clearer picture now of how you will sound like when you get one of these. Are you music streamers out there? Basically, this is how it's going to sound like when you have your guitar. Strumming. I'm gonna play the same song for consistency sake. Let's talk about the old days. Let's talk about your friends. Let's talk about the summer and how you wish it wouldn't end. Did I forget to tell you how pretty you look? How pretty, oh, actually the handle's close is pretty well. P, push, part, cart, oh, that's not P. Okay, that's it. Oh my God. Here is the thing. If you're looking for a streaming setup without the hassle, you get these. If you're looking for a brand new gaming headset that's tried, true, and tested to heck, you get these. It's one thing to have a cool looking setup with a microphone arm, this, and kitty earphones, that, and RGB that'll cure the colorblind. It's a whole other thing to have a functional setup if you take the cost of that fancy microphone with the arm, the headphones, and a bit extra for the kitty ears. You could get everything in this, and on top of that, they are very comfy. I had them on for three hours straight without feeling like my head was going to explode. So it's safe to say that these are some of the best headphones I have used thus far. The things I wish the headphones had are volume control and the option to swap between the USB, XLR and quarter inch options instead of having to pick and choose. You know, kind of swap out the wires, it would probably mean paying more. But at the same time, I get that not everyone will be getting an audio interface and will stick to the USB as the most viable option for first time streamers especially. Or people that want a more streamlined setup without compromising on quality. Either set costs US $199 according to their US site at the time of recording. However, on the Singaporean front, from Singapore if you didn't know, we are looking at $278 for the XLR set and $318 for the USB set. It's regional reasons, I believe. That may sound like a lot, but if you combine the pricing of the cheapest 20 series microphone off the website with a pair of ATH M50X headphones, the M50X STS headphones is actually a pretty damn good deal because it's still relatively cheaper than buying the two separately. I still feel that it's justified with Audio Technica's quality, with years of experience, you just need to try these for yourselves. The ATH M50X STS is solid audio engineering and hell, would be a benchmark for me moving forward. But the real question is, would you get it yourself? What do you really look for in a pair of streaming or gaming headphones? Leave your answers and any questions you have about the ATH M50X STS USB version in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow us on all of our socials right here to keep up to date with everything we put out on all the fronts right here. And if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more. It goes a long way. If you want to see more stuff, check this out.